Last year, the United Nations launched a global listening exercise by asking persons all over the globe, particularly youth, to describe the kind of future they imagine for themselves. Never in our wildest dreams we would have imagined that our 76th anniversary would have seen us facing an unprecedented pandemic and social economic crisis. A crisis that would cause the world to pause and cause our lives to change so drastically. A crisis that would prove once and for all that there is still a place and need for multilateralisms. Today, ours is a world characterized by rising inequalities, rising poverty, and a climate emergency of overwhelming growing proportions. Almost two years into this pandemic, COVID-19 continues to affect the socio-economic system of the Caribbean seas and to deepen existing disparities amongst the most at-risk population. What kind of future do we now see? This is the question we must ask now to ourselves. While the past 19 months have been daunting, it has revealed our shared humanity and taught us that unity and solidarity is truly the only way forward. It cannot be business as usual. Hence, we are all compelled now more than ever to be nimbler, more adaptive, and certainly more inclusive in our responses. Greater solidarity and a reinvigorating multilateralism to address the global so uh, challenges such as climate emergency are critical. The UN team for Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean is committed to supporting this region and building resilience to leave no one behind. Under the UN reform, the new approach to delivering as one provides more innovative and tailored support to each and every country. Resilience building is at the core of our cooperation agenda to ensure that countries like Barbados, St. Kitts and Nevis, Antigua and Barbuda, Grenada, Dominica, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and all Caribbean seats get big back better, build greener, and stronger, truly leaving no one behind. Moreover, I also call on youth to step up, make their voices, voices heard, and engage in decision-making impacting the future. We need to level the playing field, and we need to do it together. As we approach to COP26, now only one week away, the UN is demanding a strong commitment from world leaders to achieve carbon neutrality by mid-century and increase funding for adaptation, it is truly really a matter of survival for Caribbean seeds. The UN will continue to advocate at the highest level for the region to access resources it needs to effectively minimize climate impact and other vulnerabilities, reduce debt dependency, and accelerate progress towards the sustainable development goals. Together, we must ensure that we support efforts in, to increase universal access to COVID vaccine but also to tackle vaccine hesitancy. Together, we must step up for climate action. Together, we must ensure that the rights and freedom that underpin the UN Charter are realized for all women and girls, men and boys, and marginalized individuals and groups. Together, we must commit to leaving this planet in a better shape for future generations. On this UN Day, let us recommit that we can and will do it together.